All right, welcome guys. Thanks for tuning in. All right, uh, one of the requests was that uh, somebody wanted to see how to do pivoting. And what pivoting means is that in real flight, um, at least for the ailerons and elevator, you want them to pivot around the x-axis, the local x-axis. And uh, that'll make sure that the control surface pivots in the proper direction. Now, when you're thinking about pivoting, uh, you need to consider a couple of things. You need to consider, first of all, where is the object center because it's going to pivot around the object center. And then you want to think about the the direction of the pivot. Um, what we can do is we can go over here to the objects panel and under draw extra there's going to be an axis function. This is basically going to turn on the axis, the, the, uh, the local axis for that for that particular object that you have selected. Um, the next thing that will help you out is if you hit the Z key, you'll switch to a wireframe version, and that'll just let you see a little bit better. Uh, you know, kind of see what you're looking at. So what you can see right now is you've got the Z axis is going up and down, the Y axis is going front to back, and the X axis is going left to right. Now right now, if we take this object and we hit R to rotate, and then we hit X, and then we hit X again, we're going to be rotating this object around the local X axis. And you can see that that's not the way that an aileron is supposed to move. We want the aileron to move along these points. So what we need to do is we need to take this data and move it up. And then we need to kind of rotate the object, uh, the object data so that um, so the X axis lines up with this hinge line. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we are going to go, we're going to use tab to enter edit mode. We're going to hit A to select none. We're going to hit B and B to bring up our circle selector and we're going to select these two acts, uh, these two uh, vertices and these two vertices. Then we're going to right click. We're going to hit shift S. It brings up this little snap dialog. And what we want to do is we want to snap the cursor to the selection. So what this is going to do is it's going to center the 3D cursor on our selection. And you can see that that 3D cursor is now centered. Now we're going to tab back into object mode. We're going to go back to our editing panel and we're going to center the object around the cursor. All right. So what you can see is that we have moved the object center up to the hinge line. Of course we still don't have a good pivot point because again if we hit R, X and X See, even though it's rotating around that point, the axis is not aligned with the hinge line. So we need to align those hinge lines, or we need to align the x-axis to the hinge line. So what we're going to do, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to create a little object over here. Cube. I'm going to scale this down, way down and kind of move it over here a little bit just to act as a little bit of a reference point. All right. I'm going to select my aileron again. Then I'm going to tab into edit mode. Now when you're in edit mode, when you move these points, you don't move any of the 3D data or you know my 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 vocabulary here is kind of limited in the 3D space, but if you rotate the object right now, you don't rotate any of the uh, you don't rotate the object center and you don't rotate the axes um, that the that the object is aligned to. So what we can do is we can hit A to select all. We can hit R to rotate, and we're going to rotate this object until it's yeah, more or less lined up there. Right. You can use the control key. If you hold the control key while you're rotating, you kind of snap around and uh, 15 degrees looks like it's money. All right, and you can see we're off a little bit, so let's grab it in the y-axis and let's move it back up to where it's aligned with that control point. Alright, so that's good. Now let's tab back into object mode. Now you can see that uh, the aileron is lined up with the with the data uh, for the pivot point. So now if we hit R, X, X, 
and we kind of rotate it, we can see the aileron actually moves along the hinge line that we want it to move along. Of course, now the hinge line isn't aligned, so let's hit 7. Uh, 7 on the number pad to go back to our top view. Now, while in object mode, we're going to rotate, and we're going to hold down the control key, and we had picked 15 degrees earlier, so basically we're going to rotate it back 15 degrees, and then click to firm that up. Now let's check it from the side, it looks good check it from the top. We, we want to move this out a little bit, so let's grab and then let's constrain it to the x-axis, which would normally be here. This is the global x. Let's constrain it to the local x-axis and move it out a little bit to align better with that end. Let's do this one more time. G, x, x. And that actually looks pretty good. This GY to kind of close up this gap a little bit. We don't want any fluttering going on. All right. We can now go back into our object mode. We can turn off that axis because we don't need to see it anymore. We can hit Z to go back into solid. And now we can see our aileron is attached to our um, our aileron is attached to our wing. Our wing is attached to our plane. And if you hit rotate R and then XX, you can now see that the object is rotating the way that we want an aileron to rotate. See? And it is that simple. Um, yep, I think uh, I think we're pretty good now. Uh, one thing I like to do when I uh, when I make a foamy is I like to go into the kind of the side view into wireframe. And let's tab A to select uh, A to deselect all. Control and loop select the bottom two. And now we're going to grab these in the Y axis and we're going to slide those back a little bit. Then we're going to hit A to select all. We're going to grab it in the Z axis and move it down. We're going to tab back into object mode. We're going to hit G and Z and we're going to move it up. Now RXX and now you can see that our control surface you know we kind of added a little bit of a bevel there for the control surface and you can add more of a bevel if you want but uh, you know this is just for demonstration purposes so it doesn't have to look extremely good it's just uh, you know this model is designed to show you some of the concepts that you need so there you go. We created a fuselage, we created a wing, we created an aileron, we parented the aileron to the wing, we parented the wing to the fuselage, we moved the object center up to the hinge line, and then we rotated the object around the center to align it with the uh, axes, and then we uh, rotated everything in object mode so that we could actually rotate the axis line to get back into this kind of shape. And uh, it's pretty much that simple. Thanks for tuning in, guys.